Rumors claim that Apple silently fixed the iPhone 6 Plus bending issues. We get firm details on when the Galaxy Note Edge reaches the United States, and if you want the LG G Watch R, be ready to pay for it. I am Jaime Rivera, and after four days of traveling for a two-day event, it is great to be back. This is Pocket Now Daily. There are a lot of official news today, something which is really odd for this time of year, but let's begin with the LG G Watch R, one of our favorite smartwatches of the year. It will be available for retail on Wednesday, and if you want to pick one up, be ready to pay for it, because it'll cost you $50 more than the Moto 360. It'll start retailing at $300 compared to $250, and even $200 in the case of the Samsung Gear Live, which is really interesting. Still, this is one of the better looking smartwatches, and at the moment, our review will be live soon. Let us know in the comments uh, what you think of the G Watch R. Are you getting one? And if you thought that Samsung was only being sued by Apple, you know that that is not the case. Microsoft has already made it official that in addition to the $1 billion that uh, Samsung owes Microsoft and patent royalties, it is already asking for $7 million in interest because they haven't paid. And uh, Samsung's arguments are that this is not fair, mainly because, uh, well, Microsoft bought Nokia. Uh, there is a lot of antitrust issues here, and I guess that's the reason why we're not seeing any more Samsung Windows phones. Let's see how that ends up. Probably one of the only rumors today has to do with the Motorola Droid Turbo. A lot of people like this phone and everything but its carrier because it's a Verizon exclusive. And it turns out that this won't really be a Verizon exclusive. Apparently, uh, there are already some leaked photos of the Moto Max, which is the international variant of this Droid Turbo, one we can't wait to get our hands on. We'll keep you posted on that one. Another rumor for today has to do with the Apple and the iPhone 6 Plus. It turns out uh, that it seems that Apple has finally been doing some changes in order to not make it bendable. There is this big thread on Reddit right now that's claiming that uh, users have already noticed the change in weight and even a softer design for the iPhone 6 Plus, which might be the fact that Apple might have revised something in order to make it uh, sturdier, because apparently it is more heavy. Uh, and this would not be the first time. If you remember Scuffgate in the case of the iPhone 5, we do remember that eventually the iPhone 5 did get a little heavier, and a lot of people stopped complaining about the chamfered edges. Uh, my case in particular, that was one of the cases as well. So uh, might be the case that Apple did that. It would be a good time for you to go swap your phone for any particular reason whatsoever. And finally, for the very interesting news of the day, whoever is interested in the Galaxy Note Edge freaks your hand, and that includes me. Uh, it seems that the phone is coming to the United States. It is already official that it will be available on AT&T and Sprint as of mid-November. Uh, the price tags are really interesting, though. The Galaxy Note Edge will retail on AT&T for $400 after a two-year contract. This reminds me of the original iPhone. Or you could pay almost $1,000 down to get the phone, or in the comparison, with Sprint, for example, you're paying more or less 850 bucks without tax. Uh, so this is a lot of money for a smartphone. I don't think I've ever seen $400 after a two-year contract, uh, but that leads me to the question of the day. Do you think that the Galaxy Note Edge is hot enough to pay $400 for and the contract? Because in my case, I have suffered the syndrome of early adopters too much. I would never pay $400 to be an early adopter of a product that's not proven yet, but leave us a comment down below. What do you think? Friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.